All right, been a little while since I put up a video. Uh, it is winter here in Minnesota now. It is a balmy about 20 degrees out right now. Wind isn't too bad, so it's not not too terrible. Just a little bit of snow, and uh, otherwise it's a pretty nice day out. So anyhow, got a crosscut saw company saw and filed it up. Um, I got this pretty sharp through here. I got the rakers set at 0.012, I wanna say. Yeah, rakers filed on 0.012 and then I got them swaged a little bit. Um, the set, I started off at 0.017. Uh, that was too much and it was just running uh, sawdust through here. So I took that back down to 0.015 today and that is running a little bit better on the noodles. I got some willow over here uh, that I'm gonna try cutting. I've heard willow is not the best uh, from Matt Ba uh, or, and uh, well I'll probably take his word for it because I already wants to bind. Either that or I suck at running the saw. Well, I have probably a little bit of both. Um, I have some maple I'll probably put on here. I'm just using my uh, uh, <clears throat> standing block stand here because uh, I, I haven't made a saw stand. I'm going to have to now that I have uh, some saws and I got an M tooth coming from Tuatahi here eventually uh, that I will learn how to maintain and then hopefully I'll be able to learn how to file uh, competition saws so I can maintain and or make my own saws. I got my finish pattern from Mapsis Forge out here. I figured the uh, weather is appropriate for that. So uh, I'll get you guys set up here and uh, we'll see how I do with running the saw. If any of you guys are interested in a crosscut company, saw, uh, crosscut saw company saw, uh, they're pretty solid. Um, they are a, this is a six foot uh, Tuttle tooth uh, or a champion tooth, some people call it. I'm, I'm not positive on the exact differences. I think the teeth on the Tuttle are sharper i i don't know uh anyhow it's a champion or a tuttle tooth whatever you want to call it um and it came pretty much like a saw blank had a little bit of set in the teeth and uh otherwise it was pretty much dull it was about as uh thick as the as the sheet metal or the analysis steel that it comes with it's pretty easy to file overall uh, but it is holding an edge so far um Today is the only day that I've actually had it out here cutting, so we'll see how it holds up over time, but I think it's going to be a good training saw. Um, and you could probably crescent grind it down the back if you really wanted to get after it, but find an old Simmons or something like that and learn how to file. But this, I think this would be a good practice filing saw. Um, if not an expensive one for practice filing, but uh, it's not crazy hard like some of those old saws. So. Uh, I would buy it again. Also, their Western style handles are pretty easy to adjust. Uh, I like it so far. We'll see how I like it in the future. I've never run old ones, so I, I can't tell the difference. I, I don't know. I don't know the difference between them. But uh, we'll get this set up here. All right, this should be a decent view here. Let me bring it back a little. Here. Uh, we'll get this cut and then I'll show you the uh, shavings after, um, for those of you interested in that. It's pulling some little noodles right now. It's not great. I might have to take or put a little bit more set into it and see if it binds or if it's just the willow. I'm going to try it in some aspen and other stuff today too, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> I started a little bit of a cut earlier through here, so I just got kind of the teeth in like this before I had any weight in there. So this is actually the first couple uh, first couple passes that I've actually taken with this thing, realistically. So see how it goes.
bit of binding there. Uh, might be the wood, might be me. So look at this chunk of wood. It's uh, kind of got a couple knots through there I went through. But I was getting to practice saw, so I'll keep on keeping on. Now I'm through here. Overall pretty clean. The top, I don't know, it's a little bit out of the curve through there. Otherwise I think I kept it. Otherwise, we're getting some noodles coming out of her. Uh, I probably need to go back through and check all my rakers because uh, I'm also getting a fair bit of just sawdust, but it could just be this wood. It just wants to wants to just crumble out, so it might just be scooping out the uh, scooting out the noodles and they're breaking. So who knows with that? And then I think I got to take a, keep a little bit more down pressure on it on my way on my pull stroke. So I'll get us set up here for another cut and we'll, we'll try that one again. There we go. more of a downward angle to it versus kind of flat across. We'll see how that goes. I'm definitely going to have to make a saw stand here. This thing is wiggling around and everything. And my footing's getting a bit icing to icy too. This is not ideal. It's kind of stuck down here at the bottom. Kept just getting hung up. 
you know, my rakers and then my logs start moving and then uh, the stand is moving too so this is not the best setup I might figure out a way to screw it to my log otherwise I'm gonna have to make a sawing stand here uh, out of some uh, timbers or some logs anyway Yeah, we'll try one more here. Maybe I got some stakes for this thing too, because I don't want this thing moving around when I'm doing standing block either. That's why you get the right equipment for the job. And it's just going to be annoyed the entire time. this and I'll figure this out here. No one actually felt like it was running all right. All right, got that kind of figured out. Uh, hopefully it doesn't start wiggling around on me again here. Uh, I went and grabbed a steak and then just pounded the uh, log dogs in there on the stand in a little bit more. We'll see if I can get at least one more cut here and then I might go putts with that set on the uh, on the tees. I don't know, it's it's running all right. I might try it in a different wood species here uh, just to see the difference. I got some cherry logs in the back. I might try strapping to that thing. So, <clears throat> All right, I'll finish this one out here and then uh, I'll probably call her good. This is almost a 15 minute video now. I go a little bit longer. That one felt kind of good. All right, I uh, I put up a good I don't know, 11, 12 inch piece of uh, aspen through there that was just too short for my bucking stand or my uh, standing block, so it escaped me this uh, fall and summer. So we'll get this set up here and we'll get going on a piece of aspen here and see how it runs.
<sighs> well, the Aspen wanted to bind too. Uh, so that probably means me either saw, <laughs> not necessarily the wood. Uh, I'll keep practicing. I don't, I don't think it's too, too too terrible for my first time actually running a cross cut. So uh, I'll go back, watch through this video and critique myself and see what we can do. And I'll keep, keep playing with that saw See if I can get it cutting a little bit better, get it a little bit faster. But uh, I don't know if it's ever going to contend with kind of the modern pagan wreckers for racing. Uh, I'm going to keep it a little bit more robustly ground because I do want it for a practice saw and heading out into the woods here. So uh, I don't think it's ever going to get completely finished ground for racing like uber duper sharp um it is pretty darn sharp already though uh, it's cutting pretty good i'm getting a couple hang ups so i think i might have a high raker here somewhere or one or two teeth that are out of set uh i need to look into a little bit more cross cut sawing to kind of look at the kerf and see what the kerf is telling me i'm getting some good noodles um so I think I have my raker height generally set pretty good. The hang-ups also might be for me rocking the saw and catching an edge in there. Uh, that's probably it's probably more likely because uh, I went through with my pin gauge and all the rakers were were set pretty good. Unless I don't know, maybe I knocked one out of I don't know. I'll go back and I'll check out the saw, make sure it isn't the saw, but it's probably me. Anyhow. Uh, I'll probably be done for today. I'm probably gonna cut a few more uh, little biscuits here, or cookies, whatever you wanna call them, and uh, head inside. It is getting a little bit more chilly out here, and the wind is starting to pick up just a hair, which I'm wearing a fair bit of wool right now, so it's not too bad, and uh, but I'm starting to sweat, so I'm gonna start getting here pretty chilly here if I don't keep moving, so. Probably do one more cookie here. Uh, maybe I'll keep you on and then I'll be done for today. These western saw handles, I don't know if I'm adjusting them wrong or what's going on, but it wants to keep getting loose on me as I'm going through. I don't know if I'm turning my wrists too much or what's happening there, but the saw gets a little bit loose and then the hammer, the hammer makes it a little better.
door. All right, it's enough to edit here, I think.